Today we're going to talk about the resting membrane potential. The membrane in this case would look like this. If this is the cell membrane and this is the extracellular space, this is the intracellular space. And an electrode was uh, inserted inside the cell to a voltmeter, we will see that the value is around minus uh, 90 millivolts. And we would notice that there is an accumulation of negative charges on the inside of the cell and positive charges on the outside of the cell. So the main reason that we have negative charges on the inside is not because of the ions. We're gonna talk about the ions but the main reason that we have negative charges on the inside is that we have large negatively charged proteins. So these large negatively charged proteins are the reason why there are negative charges on the uh, inside of the cell. Now, uh, I'm going to talk about two very important ions that play an important role in keeping the resting membrane potential. We have the sodium and we have potassium. So, sodium on the outside is around 140 millimoles per liter. And these values can be in a range, like in some textbooks maybe 142 and so on. For um, potassium, it's around 4 Mary moles per liters. On the inside, sodium is around 10 millimoles per liter, and potassium, on the other hand, is about 140. So we can see that, that they are completely opposite to each other. So, what would keep the gradient in a stable state so that the membrane would be in a resting uh, state potential? From these numbers we can see that if there is no equilibrium, because sodium is concentrated on the outside, it will be always flowing from outside to inside and for potassium it would be vice versa. Now the case is there is something called an equilibrium potential and this equilibrium potential is calculated by an equation which is called the Nernst equation. So what does the Nernst equation do? It deals with uh, calculating the equilibrium potential that would keep the equilibrium of a certain ion. So what it does is that this electrical force would um, hinder or stop the flowing of the ion in its concentration gradient. And the equation equals so this is the voltage, it equals minus 61 over Z multiplied by the log of the concentration of the ion on the outside divided by the concentration of the ion on the inside. So if we take the values of potassium and plug it in here or sodium and um, substitute for the uh, X plus outside over X plus inside, we would uh, find something very interesting. So, 
the equilibrium potential of sodium would equal positive 45 millivolts, while the equilibrium potential of potassium would equal minus 95 millivolts, around this value, minus 95, 96. Also, for sodium, it's a range. We'll stick with these values.